Hey there, welcome back. My name is Nates and let's check out another drag and drop tip. This one's really nice. Let's jump in. So I have three circles here, red, green, blue. And my rectangle here has three more states, red, green and blue. Right, now we want to color, change the color of our rectangle when we drop our circles here. So let's add some triggers. So we're going to change state of rectangle to the first one, which is blue. If blue has been dropped on rectangle one, bam, first one. Now let's just duplicate this one two times, quickly change it. So the next one green and green and the last one red when object red has been dropped. Let's preview this. This should work, right? <laughs> Hope it does. Red, green, blue. Fantastic. However, we want to be able to color this a million times. Never ending coloring play. So how can we do that? We're going to add some motion paths here. So let's add a motion path, which is the shortest possible and has a length of exactly zero pixels. Let's do that also for the green one. Motion path, ah, clicking is faster. And length is zero. And last one, motion path and zero. Right, now we could, uh, we could leave these guys here, uh, but let's delete them so everything is cleaner so no moving for now we still have our original triggers here now what we want to do is when this object is dropped on the rectangle we'll invoke the motion path and motion path has the position right here and duration very short and uh, length of zero pixels so what's going to happen is when the object is dropped the motion path will run and it's gonna put object back in that position. So let's add some triggers. Move red along motion path one. Again, when red has been dropped on rectangle one. Bam. Also, I think we could just duplicate this one. So move, uh, let's see, do in order. Green, when green dropped. And let's, didn't I copy two times? Okay, one more time. To celebrate, oh yeah. So move, 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 watch what's left. Blue, line motion path three, when blue has been dropped. So just quick double check, we have the blue one, we have the green one, and we have the red one. Let's preview, hope this works. I'm recording this. Red, green, blue, Green, blue, red, green, blue. I could do this all day. Green. No, that's red. <laughs> okay, so that's it. An easy way for you to reuse the dropped item. In my case, I was using it for a client's project where they had to color the map of the world depending on some parameters. But of course, this could be applied in many different situations. So I hope you have fun with this one and I'll talk to you in the next video.